immense relief. Neneng Sunengsi did not expect to see her country again. She was sentenced to death by a Saudi Arabian court for allegedly killing her employer's baby. But a lawyer convinced the court in appeal that Neneng could not be blamed. Her employer hasn't paid her salary. I will never go back there. I was so afraid. For me, this still feels like a dream coming home to Indonesia. More than six million migrant workers, many of them unskilled women from poor areas, work abroad. Indonesia depends heavily on the more than seven billion dollars they send home every year. But the Indonesian government has been under pressure to do something about the abuse of these workers by their employers and foreign governments. Last year, an Indonesian maid was beheaded in Saudi Arabia after confessing to murder. Astina Triutami wrote a book about her experiences as a maid in Hong Kong, where she worked for long hours and little pay. For hundreds of years, we've been colonized by a foreign country. Now we're officially free, but we are colonized in a new way. We are collectively colonizing ourselves now. Indonesia is one of the main suppliers of maids abroad, cheap unskilled cooks, cleaners and babysitters who hardly receive any protection. After many cases of abuse and even murder, the government has decided to temporarily stop sending domestic workers to Malaysia and Saudi Arabia while negotiating better working conditions. But a new government plan to entirely stop sending maids abroad in the next few years is still seen as too ambitious. For the moment, the Indonesian government concentrates on better training and job contracts, so migrant workers are protected. In the future, it only wants to send skilled workers abroad. We want to formalize the sector of domestic workers, then they will be better protected. We need to better educate our workforce and we also need to focus on improving their language skills. Neneng Sunengsi has managed to escape beheading in Saudi Arabia. Tens of others are still on death row. Nearly every day Indonesian women arrive at the airport, wounded after years of physical and mental abuse. Step fasten, Al Jazeera, Jakarta.